In part one of this video, I'm going to show you very quickly how to configure a domain with Mailgun. And then in part two, I'll explain each of the settings. You can also find a summary of each of the settings in the notes that accompany this video. My intention here is to get you up and running as quickly as possible, but also leave you with information so you understand what you're setting up, what the purpose of each setting is, etc. So jumping right in, you want to find the option in Mailgun to add a new domain and enter the domain you want to be sending emails from. For this example, I'm going to use a domain I own called atsweb.xyz. Now, when specifying your domain, you want to use a subdomain here. And typically, I recommend the subdomain of just simply mail. It could be email, could be MG, Mailgun for short, whatever you want. Uh, but you do want to use a subdomain. You will be able to send your emails from the root domain itself. You don't have to include the subdomain. This is just purely for configuration reasons. And in part two of this video, I'll explain a little bit more why. Uh, but let's proceed forward. We're going to say add domain. And on the screen that follows, it's going to give you several DNS records that you're going to want to set up with your domain. So for this, you want to go to your domain provider. For my example, I'm going to be showing this via Namecheap.com. This is where I own this domain. But you should find that these instructions work for multiple domain providers, just because generally they operate in the same way, where you have your list of domains, and then you have some ability to manage or edit that domain settings. So in my case, I'll just click Manage. And then specifically, what we want to manage is our domain's DNS settings. So once you find those settings, you should see an option somewhere to add new records. And the records you want to add, you'll find by going back to the setup instructions that Mailgun provides. And the first record is of type text. You're going to enter your subdomain that you're configuring this for, for the host. And then they give you a value to enter. So let's bring these settings over to our DNS records. We're going to say add new record, choose text paste in the host value they gave you. Now I am gonna make a modification here. One thing I have found when configuring Mailgun and Namecheap specifically is that I don't need to include my root domain. I just need to include the subdomain. So I'm gonna modify it like that. What I recommend doing if you're not using Namecheap, go ahead and do it exactly as they've indicated in the instructions. And then when we get all our records added, we're gonna verify our DNS settings. And if it fails, then at that point, you could go back and edit your records and try it without the domains uh, using just the subdomain. All right, let me grab the value for this record, paste that in. And for TTL, I'm going to set this to one minute so the changes take effect as soon as possible. Let's grab our next record. It's another text record. Here's the host name that they give us. And once again, I'm going to remove the root domain from this value. So in my case, I end up with pick dot underscore domain key dot mail. Let's copy over the value. And again, set TTL to one minute. Next up, we have two MX records, and I'll explain the purpose of these in full details in the second part of the video. But for now, I just want to highlight that you should only set these up if you are using a subdomain specifically for Mailgun. If you're, say, you're just using your root domain for email sending, you want to be careful here because if you already have MX records for that root domain set up, adding these MX records could conflict with that. But if you're using a subdomain that is specific to Mailgun, that's not a problem. Uh, and in our case, we are using a subdomain, so I am going to proceed forward with adding these. So let's copy the details. And going back, uh, where we're going to add these records, at least in Namecheap, is there's a section specific to mail settings. Right now, I have it set to email forwarding. I'm going to change this to custom MX. And then I'll be able to add MX records. So I'm going to paste in the host. And once again, I'm going to remove the root domain and include just the subdomain I'm using. And then for the value for the first one, it's going to be mxa.mailgun.org. And then the priority was 10. And then again, TTL, we're going to say one minute. Let's save that record. And then we'll add another one and follow the same procedure. So this time it's just going to be pointing to mxb.mailgun.org. And then our final record is going to be a CNAME record. Here's the host name they give us. Uh, CNAME records, I'm going to go back up to the top with my regular host records. Say add new record, choose CNAME, paste in the host. Once again, I'm going to remove the root domain from the value they give me. And then the target for this is dismailgun.org. So with all our records in place, going back to Mailgun, we could choose the option to verify DNS settings. 
And when it's done, you could scroll back through your records. And if everything went well, you should see green check boxes next to them. Uh, if you don't see that, uh, you need to double check your settings, perhaps play around with the hostname value, as I described earlier, where if you had entered it with your full domain when they prompted, try it without that or vice versa. If you tried it without the full domain, try adding it and then verifying your DNS settings again. And a somewhat related tip to that, if you go to verify things and it fails, uh, it could be just that the DNS setting changes that you've made have not yet propagated through your domain provider servers. In fact, there's a note about this at the bottom about sometimes the changes you make take 24 to 48 hours to propagate. Uh, so if that happens, um, sometimes what you'll see uh, for a record, you'll see like the current value, it'll say something like none found if it's not yet recognizing the addition of that record. Or let's say you had made a change, you might see that the current value is not reflecting what you had set uh, in your DNS settings. That's another instance of basically the changes you made had not yet propagated. All right, so if that happens, just give it some time, check back. Sometimes it's a few minutes, it'll take effect. Sometimes it might be a couple hours or on the Mac side of things, it might even be upwards of 24 to 48 hours. Although in my experience, it usually propagates quicker than that. So hopefully these details got you on track and ready to start sending mail with Mailgun. Before you proceed with that though, I hope you'll check out part two of this guide where I explain the role of each of the records that we just added, just so you have a little bit more insight into how sending with a service like Mailgun works.